So we think the Ealing Beaver Project is one of the most exciting wildlife projects in the whole of London. This is the only site in the whole of Greater London and actually the UK where you can physically walk whenever you want into a beaver landscape in the urban environment. And right here, we have beavers thriving. So we're now standing in effectively a beaver feeding station or a beaver workshop. And you can see around us, there's loads of evidence of where the beavers have been foraging for their food. You can see here, this tree has been felled and they've been nibbling away at the bark here. There's all these amazing wood chippings. So each of these individual slices is effectively one beaver bite. Beavers are herbivores. They love to eat a whole range of plants and different herbaceous sort of vegetation. But not only that, they go around and they start processing it up. So all around us now, is areas of trees that have been brought down, but actually then they, go, they will then process that tree up and take that, those branches away to go build their dams or their lodge where they live. So it's just to make, they're so resourceful, they really use every part of the tree. So we're now standing by the main lagoon in the site. And when we think about beaver activity, we normally think about them you know, felling trees and creating their dams. But there's actually other things they do as well to transform the landscape. So just in front of us here, you can see they've actually started to dredge the channels. They're actually quite good diggers. They've got quite interesting pores and they can actually scratch away. And then you can see areas of, 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 of excavation, really. And that's them creating new waterways and new channels. Again, improving the site's ability to hold water. And that's just so important. So these dams, these complex wetlands that the beavers are making will make this site more resilient to the impacts of climate change. So with climate change, we know we're getting wetter periods, periods of um, you know, high levels of rainfall. We know in the last sort of two years or so, we've had about 18 months of the wettest records uh, in terms of uh, the sort of amount of rainfall that we've had. And that obviously increases the risk of flooding. But beavers, by creating these dams, by creating these sort of new channels, will slow the water down as it's coming down into the catchment and actually have the flooding happen here where we want it, where the flooding creates lovely habitat and not flood people's homes. We monitor our beavers in many ways. And then since the beavers have arrived, we now still want to continue that monitoring process. So one thing we do, we have fantastic wildlife cameras. And these are little cameras that we can put on, the, on by trees or across the site. And they don't make a noise, they don't make a sound. So that means they can monitor the beavers without us having to be there. And that is amazing for a number of reasons. One, because we get to see the beavers doing their thing. Uh, without us, you know, sort of disturbing their breathing in their presence. But also we get to see these really natural behaviour and we can monitor their ecological conditions. So we can make sure the beavers are looking healthy and look, looking, looking well. It's a really important part of our monitoring process. Climate change is one of the biggest challenges that humans have ever faced. As well as that, we have the ecological crisis, which sometimes is forgotten about. But it's very important to recognise that both the climate crisis and the ecological emergency are two sides of the same coin. We must try and combat both of the, 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 uh, an effort that is commensurate to the, the, the needs of the situation. I think what we have found through previous COPs, you know, is it is important to have these discussions, but I think we can, we can definitely say that we have not had the response that we really need. You know, there's a huge funding gap when it comes to both climate and biodiversity that isn't being met. So we're not putting enough resources in to solve these really important challenges of our time that will impact everybody on this planet. So I do think it's incredibly important for us to come together and, and solve these challenges, but we can certainly say that we're not doing enough yet. We need to do a lot more. And uh, in, my, in our field here of the Ealing Beaver Project, we think biodiversity needs to be key to the conversation as well. And actually by embracing biodiversity, we might like beavers, that might be in part some of the solutions to a more climate resilient world where we can live in nature filled cities, where people can connect to nature and we can live in these more resilient places that are going to withstand the impacts of climate change.